Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cerebral Snacks. My name's Yamp. My name is Adi. Today, we're going to be talking about the states of matter. So what is matter? Well, matter is any physical substance you can touch. So this? Yep, this table's matter. How about that? Yep, water is matter too. How about the air? Yep, air is matter too. But how is that? They're all different. Well, there are three main states of matter, and no, Texas isn't one of them. There's solid, liquid, and gas. A solid is an object that can keep its own shape, like take this globe for example. It keeps its own shape, a sphere. A liquid, like water, can't keep its own shape, but it takes the shape of its container. You see, the water is cup-shaped, because it's in the cup. And a gas is also a substance that can take the shape of its container, but it takes up the whole space of the container. Unlike liquids, you see when I pour the water, it fills up up till here. It doesn't fill up anymore. But if I were to pour air in this cup, it would fill up the whole cup, no matter how much or how little I pour in. So now let's take a look at the three states of matter in a substance we all know of, water. Over here, we have gaseous water, or steam. It's very, very hot, and it boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. Over here, we have normal liquid water, which we deal with every single day. It stays liquid anywhere between 212 degrees Fahrenheit, or 100 degrees Celsius, all the way down to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 degrees Celsius. Now over here, we have frozen water, or ice. Ice stays frozen anywhere below or at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 degrees Celsius. So what do we call when frozen objects turn into liquid objects? Well, when a solid turns to a liquid, it melts. And when a liquid turns to a gas, it evaporates. When gas turns into liquid, it's called condensing. And when a liquid turns into a solid, it's called freezing. So we know if we want to turn ice into steam, we have to melt the ice into water and evaporate the water into steam. And to go the other way, we have to condense the steam into water and freeze the water back into ice. But is there a way to skip the whole water step in the middle and go directly from a solid to a gas, or from a gas to a solid? Well, it is possible with water, but it's really hard to do. But there is another substance that's pretty easy to find. You can find it at your local stores or at an ice cream parlor. It's called dry ice. So over here, we have a chunk of dry ice. Now kids, don't ever handle dry ice on your own. Make sure you always have an adult with you. This stuff's extremely cold. It's almost negative 110 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 80 degrees Celsius. It's extremely cold and it can give you frostbite if you don't wear gloves. Always wear gloves when handling this stuff. So dry ice has a very special property. It can go directly from a solid to a gas. It's kind of hard to see right now, but it is doing that. But to speed up the process, it's pretty fun to do that. Take a glass of hot water Take a small piece of dry ice and drop it in. As you can see, the dry ice is bubbling like crazy and turning directly into carbon dioxide gas. Now if you do this, make sure you're in a well-ventilated room with open windows and fans so that you can get air to breathe. Otherwise, the carbon dioxide can be bad for your health. So what's it called when a solid goes directly to gas, as we see here? A solid chunk of dry ice is going directly into gas carbon dioxide. So that process is called sublimation. So what's the opposite effect when you want to go from a gas directly to a solid? That's what they do when they make dry ice. That's called deposition. As you can see here, we have a solid chunk of dry ice made because of deposition. Now if you're confused off of any of the terms that we use in this video, there's a link in the description to an infographic explaining all of the terms we used. I'd like to thank my third grade teacher, Mr. Maselli, for suggesting this idea. And if you want to see our last video, click right there. Please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions you want us to answer in the future, leave them in the comments below. See you next time.